everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the west side of Manhattan. We are here, of course, for the New York Marathon. We're just outside the, uh, I think it's called the Jarvis Convention Center now. We're gonna head in, pick up my number. We've got loads to catch up on today, all about what I'm gonna be doing in the race, the kit I'm gonna be wearing, and also we're heading to the shakeout run in a bit. But for now, just really excited to get in here, have a look around, take in all the atmosphere, and see what it's all about. To sit by relax, let's get the day before, the day before, the New York Marathon done. Right, we've picked up the number 1558, Wave 1, Blue Corral A. A lot of people ask how I qualified for this, and it was actually when we ran the Brooklyn Half a couple of years ago. If you run under 123, I think it was at the time, then you can get a guaranteed entry into the New York Marathon because that's a New York Roadrunners race, and this is a New York Roadrunners race. I had no idea at the time, and then I looked it up, and I was like, I can just head to the New York Marathon. So here we are, um, about a year and a half later. Right, I'm gonna go pick up my team from just over here. I've just gone to the ASIC stand, guys, because they've got the new Nova Blast 4, uh, which obviously I really want to review, and this isn't coming out to the end of the year, so we're just going to hopefully pick up a pair of that. They've only got a few sizes there, and uh, yeah, I can't find any Super Blast in the UK as well. These are my absolute favourite shoe of the year, and just sold out absolutely everywhere. So uh, apparently, fingers crossed, he's just going to check if they've got a pair of those as well. So it uh, could be a little bit of an expensive trip. Right, there was someone on my Strava comments the other day that said I could go and get some Nova Blast 4 at the Attic Sense. So thank you for that. I'll put your name up on the screen now in the comment. Thank you so much. Because I had no idea. So uh, yeah, really appreciate all the support in comments that you guys give me. Over 300 pounds there we've uh, spent on these shoes. Just thank you guys for all the support so we can buy these shoes, review them completely independently, not attached to any brands, very authentic. And it's all down to support that you guys give us on the channel. So thank you so, so much. The review of those Nova Blast 4. Already got a full size down, so that's interesting. And uh, they do feel a little bit heavier than the last ones as well. The review of that will be coming in a couple of weeks, which we've logged up a good uh, 100K plus in those. Excited for it, love that colorway. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm off to uh, find my name on this wall. I guess in the P section here. Section. Right guys, our whistle stop tour of the expo is done. We've got some goodies, we've got our number, and we kind of know what we're doing over the next few days. Hopefully, well, running a good marathon, that is the most important thing. Amazing to meet lots of you guys here as well. And uh, yeah, superb organization. That was really, really easy. So uh, thanks to your Roadrunners. Great expo, really enjoyed that. Now we're just heading uptown to Columbus something to uh, go and meet Mike. Confuse you for his shakeout run and uh, meet some more of you guys as well. We'll see you on the train. Right guys, we're now at uh, Mike's Shape Heart Run. So many people have turned up here. We've got at least like 200 people here, which is amazing to see the support for the running community. Yeah, so just gonna head out on a little jog. I just spent an hour and a half meeting loads of you guys in there, which has completely blown my head. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much everyone that's come up to say hello, just awesome. Well, I'm gonna go and get stuck in and uh, yeah, go for about a two mile run, I think. Well, there's the shakeout done. We are absolutely whacked. It's about one o'clock in the morning, London time, which we're still very much on. We only got here yesterday. So we're just gonna grab a quick dinner. Chipotle, I think we're heading to, and uh, then get some bet, some sleep, some much needed sleep. Massive thanks to Mike uh, for hosting this evening. Just an awesome event and just amazing to see so many of you. Thank you so much for the kind words. It's, uh, it means a lot and it's why we do these videos. I always get a bit uh, emotional about it all, but yeah, thank you so, so much for everyone that came along. Right, we're off to get some dinner. 
And just like that, it's the next day, the day before the marathon. My nerves have gone up a lot since yesterday. I thought it'd be a good idea to come out and look at the Queensborough Bridge, which is this massive bridge you see behind me, one of the very hardest points on the course. And I last ran the New York Marathon in 2008, 15 years ago, if you can believe that. Ran in for about four hours, 11 minutes. But I remember two really difficult parts of the course. This bridge, and just the final sort of climb was you get back near to Central Park around 23 miles in. So I just thought I'd come out, familiarize myself with this bridge and just how tough this part of the course is. The views like that you're gonna see up there are gonna be absolutely spectacular. So I can't wait for that. I can use that positive energy, those positive thoughts to get through this. One of the cable cars is going over here. You might be able to see heading over towards Roosevelt Island, which is the island you cross as you head from that side into Manhattan. Now up here at First Avenue, so we're gonna come off the bridge here, come round and then be heading down here up First Avenue. You can see the blue line here and this is gonna be an incredible experience. Is it gonna be better than Tower Bridge? That's a lot of people compare it to. Tower Bridge at London versus First Ave at New York. And this is where hopefully I'm gonna to start to put the hammer down a little bit, try and increase my pace. And in terms of the goals for the race, it's going to be very, very similar to Chicago. I need to get back on the pavement or the sidewalk. It's going to be very, very similar goals to Chicago. I'm just going to be out there running off field. This is the last build-up race for Valencia Marathon. So I'm going to set off nice and relaxed, nice and easy, around about those four-minute Ks, and just see if we can crank it up through. Chicago is a far, far easier course than this. It's going to be impossible to pace it in the same sort of way. This is hilly, undulating, a couple of really tough climbs. In terms of times, Similar to Chicago would be absolutely fantastic. Happy that, that was a 243. Anything around there, 243, 44, 45, 46, something like that would be a really good solid long run. Then it's absolutely pedal to the metal, all in for Valencia, which is in about four weeks time. Like Chicago, this is still a big week of training for me. There's been very little sort of tapering going on to get ready for this race. This is a solid long run and I cannot wait to bring you guys this video. Right now, I'm gonna head back home, get some lunch on board. We'll go through all the kit for tomorrow as well. Right, we're back at the Airbnb. I've just made a massive pile of all of the gear for tomorrow. Um, it's quite funny, Sarah is <laughs> now filming this while editing, well she was editing this bit, this very video. And this is what the size of our Airbnb looks like. Oh, there's the shoes I bought yesterday. Um, anyway, doesn't really matter. Let's get on to have a chat about all the gear we're we'll taking out tomorrow. What everybody wants to know all about shoes. So we're gonna be taking the Vaporfly version three. I've only just got this pair in. I have run tested in them. Where's the other one? There we go. Yeah, just really like how comfortable they are, just moving across the ground really, really well. Fantastic grip, very, very fast. And uh, yeah, just done about 15K just to make sure they're all right. So that's what we'll be taking out. Combining that really nice black and gold colorway with my standard saw black shorts and then the Ben Parks Lightning Bolt singlet, saw singlet here. Again, super, super lightweight, 49 grams, really breathable. Gonna be getting not too hot out there. It's gonna be about 15, 16 degrees. But yeah, that's just gonna breathe really nicely and love that design. We have just restocked it, um, but it will sell out very quickly, no doubt. As soon as I get them in, they go out. Some saw socks as well. Um, carrying my nutrition and camera in my naked band, pretty standard. In terms of nutrition, I'm gonna be taking three gels, three of the Morton 160 gels here. That's basically like five normal gels worth. These things are absolutely massive. I'm not going flat out, as you guys know, so that will be more than enough to get round. Probably around about every 45 minutes, I'll get one of those down. Um, calf sleeves, just taking my compressed sport calf sleeves. I haven't managed to bring a matching pair, so <laughs> an odd set of calf sleeves. My standard Ron Hill pink gloves, just some plasters to put over nipples and stuff. Um, GoPro Hero 11, most important thing while we're here, filming this race, making the video. Um, I'll take one spare battery with me. This is like the external microphone module and that's the external microphone. Get the best sound quality. Just taking all that amazing atmosphere that's gonna be out on the course there. Garmin FX3 watch. That's a bit of an odd thing in the morning with breakfast and stuff because I'm gonna be getting up about 4.15 to catch the five o'clock train down to the Staten Island Ferry that leaves at 5.45 for my 
allocation. So I kind of got to have two breakfasts. My race doesn't even start till 9.15, 9.10, 9.15. So that's, what's that, like five hours after getting up before the marathon actually starts. So I'm going to be having my standard bagels in the morning, uh, just with some jam. And then I'm just going to be topping up with some of these striker bars. These have got loads of calories in. Probably have one on the ferry and one with about 90 odd minutes uh, before the start of the race. Bit of an odd thing to try and overcome there. The other odd thing that tr we're trying to overcome is there's no drop bag. Um, the drop, you, you have to drop, put your drop bag by the start line, either on Friday or Saturday before the race. So everything you take down to the start line, you either run in or you ditch. So um, I've had to bring some warm clothing as well um, that we are unfortunately gonna have to ditch before. Uh, the start of the race but I guess that's just how New York has to do it because the bridge is closed um, just a warm beanie to wear down to the start underwear just the underwear underpants I think that is absolutely everything um, it's now what time is it four just after four o'clock so yeah I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day hopefully get into bed about nine o'clock have my standard probably standard normally have pasta but we're having a lot of wraps recently probably having another wrap later on today and that's going to be it. Next time you see me, we'll be standing on the start line on the bridge, ready to go. That massive uphill and then downhill all the way in to Brooklyn. Just can't wait for that. So thanks, guys, for all the support. If you've got any questions, feel free. Put them in the comments down below. Best of luck if you're racing the race as well, or you have been put in the race. I think this video won't even make it out <laughs> until after the race. But yeah, best of luck. Hope everybody had an amazing time out there. The race video will be out next Sunday. Get subscribed if you aren't already. Turn on notifications so you'll see it as soon as it drops. So that's it, guys. All the best with your running. Hope everything's going well. See you soon. Lots of love from me and Sarah. Keep on getting it done. We'll see you very soon in the next one.